would I pay to stay here beside you? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're ranking the singing voices of the official Disney princesses. This means no live action, and unfortunately, no one like Anna or Elsa, who haven't qualified for the official list. But it's only for today. It's only for today. Number 12, Snow White, Adriana Casalotti. Magic mirror on the wall, who sings the highest of them all? That would be Adriana Casalotti, of course. So I came up with a makeup voice. I did not have that little girl voice. I made it up. And this is the reason I can still do this. I'm wishing for the one I love. She was a fantastic choice for Snow White, who is still the youngest princess today at just 14 years old. Walt Disney, during casting, was apparently looking for a voice that sounded, quote, kind of away from every day, kind of off in another world. With a smile and a song, life is just like a bright sunny day. Well, mission accomplished. Snow White's song at the beginning of the movie is all kinds of ethereal, and that's largely due to Casalotti's performance. It seems distinct and eccentric today, but for 1930s animation, it feels right on par. Number 11, Raya, Kelly Marie Tran. Tuk tuk. <sighs> You're getting a little too big for this, bud. This is the point where you pause the video and head straight to the comments. Hear us out before you do that. Raya doesn't actually have a full song to herself, but there is a brief moment where she sings. And considering that she's now the 13th official princess, it felt remiss to exclude her. Are you here? Oh, mighty Sisu. Who said that? The moment comes when she's summoning Sisu, the last surviving dragon. She recounts a short passage in her native language, what is reportedly a con line created by David J. Peterson. Here goes everything. Suva Dedra Sim. Mandra Dedra Lim. Raya's voice is soft and just really pleasant to listen to. We would have loved to hear a full solo. What can I say? Bling is my thing. Number 10, Belle, Paige O'Hara. There goes the baker with his tray, like always. The same old bread and rolls to sell. With a bright tone that sort of makes it sound like Paige O'Hara is always smiling behind the mic, Belle has the kind of singing that's just really enjoyable overall. Little town, it's a quiet village. Every day, like the one before. She's a bit less mid-Atlantic and a bit more modern sounding, though that transitory period is still obvious when we compare her to newer Disney women. Oh, isn't this amazing? It's my favorite part because you'll see. This is especially obvious in Something There, where we hear her hit high notes in an operatic way as opposed to lower notes where she sounds softer and more natural. New and a bit alarming Who'd have ever thought that this could be? Unfortunately, with all the accompaniment in her opening track, plus the duet later on, Belle never really gets a solo entirely to herself. Number 9, Merida, Julie Fowlis. When the cold wind's calling and the sky is clear and bright, misty mountains sing and beckon lead me out into the light. Regardless of what you think about the Disney Pixar merge, at least one good thing came of it. Merida's finally getting the recognition she deserves. As the official 11th member of the Disney Princess lineup, she certainly belongs to the newer generation of princesses who are less concerned with finding love so much as they are chasing their dreams. Deep waters hold reflections of times lost long ago. I will hear that every story take hold of my own dream. While Merida doesn't actually sing in her movie, Julie Fowlis is responsible for the beautiful number Touch the Sky. I will 
It's supposed to be Merida's off-screen musical thoughts, so while it's not technically her own singing voice, it is still meant to represent her inner dialogue. Faunus's voice is clear and bright, but also so full of personality, which makes for an absolutely stunning blend. Number 8. Aurora, Mary Costa I know you, I walked with you once upon a dream Okay, so yes, Aurora sounds much older than she is, but that doesn't take away from the downright beauty of Mary Costa's voice. Aurora delivers pure fairy tale magic. We're talking the old-timey stuff from storybooks. And bring back a love song to me. We'll excuse Prince Philip's forwardness just this one time, because if we heard this voice singing in the forest, we'd be pretty entranced too. Walt Disney called me and he said, you have a warm, warm voice and it expresses love from your heart. She has much more of an operatic register, very characteristic of her time, and it's exactly what distinguishes her from the rest. We're not sure if we believe in destiny or soulmates, but Once Upon a Dream definitely makes us want to. Number 7. Cinderella, Eileen Woods Eileen Woods brought such a tranquil quality to both Cinderella's speaking and singing voice. And perhaps someday, the dreams that I wish will Even with that classic transatlantic accent characteristic of the time, she still manages to sound down to earth. Her delivery is right on par with a natural sort of elegance that makes her true princess material. In dreams you will lose your heartache. This is best heard in A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes and So This Is Love, where her tone is so dreamy and yet so refined. Woods was actually known for performing during World War II with Paul Whiteman and also had her own radio program before ever landing this role, so it's not really surprising that her crooning was so spectacular. I'm all aglow, and now I know, and now I know. Okay. Heaven is mine. Number 6. Pocahontas, Judy Kuhn. Here's a princess who actually has two different voice actresses. Irene Bedard is responsible for all of Pocahontas's dialogue, though that was originally not the case. Broadway performer Judy Kuhn was initially hired to do both Pocahontas's singing and dialogue, until they found a Native American actress, Irene Bedard, to take over the latter. Is all my dreaming at an end? Or do you still wait for me? Both women share similar tones, so the swap is not very noticeable unless you're looking for it, or rather, hearing for it. In any case, Kuhn's musical theater roots shine in Just Around the Riverbend and Colors of the Wind, and they're two songs that are still super revered by Disney fans today. You can own the earth and still, all your own is earth until Number 5. Rapunzel, Mandy Moore Long night, the lights will appear Just like they do on my birthday each year Mandy Moore has a pretty unique voice as it is, but she also does a lot to enforce Rapunzel's cinnamon roll pureness and true authenticity. I've got a dream! She's got a dream. I've got a dream. She's got a dream. I just want to see the floating lanterns clean. 
Her sound is more in line with what we've come to expect from the newer generation of princesses. But make no mistake, she was singing and acting long before she became Rapunzel. Moore brings heart, humor, and above all, passion to her character regardless of the dialogue or note. All those years outside looking in. We get to hear her shine in three of the movie's tracks, and honestly, it still doesn't feel like enough. Luckily, Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure introduces some new numbers to keep us satiated. But I got the wind in my hair and a fire within, cause there's something begin me. Number 4. Moana, Ali'i Cravalho At just 15 years old, Ali'i Cravalho made headlines as the first Polynesian princess. Every turn I take, every trail I track, every path I make. Not only was it a step in the right direction for diversity and representation, but Cravalho could sing. For being so young, she stunned with powerful vocals and phenomenal projection. And the call isn't out there at all, it's inside me. It's like the tide, always falling and rising. She was also about the same age as her character when she was first cast which gave Moana an extra layer of believability. With a round, full voice, she has the kind of trill that could impress even the most cynical critic. It all makes her I Want number that much more convincing. If the wind my sail on the sea stays behind me, one day I'll know. If I go, there's just no telling how far I'll go. Number 3. Tiana, Anika Noni Rose. There's no better way to describe Anika Noni Rose's voice than the word majestic. This old town can slow you down, people taking the easy way. But I know exactly where I'm going, I'm getting closer and closer every day. It's soulful and warm, the kind of voice that wraps us up in a hug and inspires us to follow our dreams. Rose is yet another actress with a musical theater background, and it shows. Every note is exactly where it needs to be, with lows and highs alike wowing every single time. Rose also has incredible skill when it comes to trill and belting, as evidenced by that last note in Almost There. It's always wonderful to hear a character's personality reflected in their voice, and Tiana's strength and elegance certainly is. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 2. Ariel, Jody Benson <laughs> Jodie Benson's Broadway experience is so palpable in Part of Your World. The song gives us chills every time we hear it, and that's largely owing to Benson's performance. I didn't realize how difficult it was to get across, just through your voice, what you're feeling, thinking, everything. She manages to imbue so much emotion in every line, which is especially needed for this song as Ariel transitions from wonder to longing. What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? On land, they understand, but they don't reprimand their daughters. Benson remains crisp and clear even as she transitions from vibrato to a sort of breathy excitement and back again. This is a woman who holds notes like a goddess. Watch and you'll see. We're not saying Ursula was right to take her voice, all we're saying is that we kind of get it. Number 1. Jasmine and Mulan, Leia Salonga How 
skilled a singer do you have to be to voice not one, but two Disney princesses? While the characters' speaking voices are different, Leia Salonga is responsible for both A Whole New World and Reflection. I've tried. When will my reflection show who I am Other than being a Disney legend, she's also known for her roles as Eponine and Fontaine in Les Miserables, as well as Kim in Miss Saigon. That pretty much tells us everything we need to know. A whole new Interestingly, it's not at first obvious that Mulan and Jasmine share a singing voice, which really only speaks to the unmatched brilliance of Salonga. With performances that are nothing short of angelic, few other talents come close. Which Disney character, princess or otherwise, do you think has the best voice? Let us know in the comments. My voice? You've got it, sweet cakes. No more talking, singing, zip. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.